This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Halsey. Here are some of the stories making headlines today. A free COVID-19 testing event is being held today at the Family Arena in St. Charles. The Missouri National Guard is assisting. It will involve a self-administered nasal swab. The testing is free. It starts at 10 this morning and continues until 6. The Guard will also be on hand for more free testing tomorrow from 8 to 4. Today, parents of Rockwood Middle Schoolers will get an email asking them to choose in-person or virtual learning. Yesterday, Rockwood officials announced a plan to bring students back beginning on November 4th. Parents will still have the option to continue virtual learning. Full details up right now on your KMOV News app. Accident reconstruction investigators are working to figure out what led up to this serious crash on North Broadway overnight. At least one person is in critical condition after this crash near Jackson. It happened around midnight. We know that two vehicles were involved and we're working to get an update on that victim's condition. Now Kent has your forecast. It's uh, been a frosty start across the area. Very cold this morning, but warming up a little bit this afternoon. It's going to be breezy. The sun's going to be shining and we're looking at a high temperature of about 62 degrees today. It gets very windy tomorrow and that's the key. 72 degrees and windy. You're going to have a fire watch across the area. That's officially uh, posted by the National Weather Service. Those winds will be out of the south at uh, maybe 15 to 30 miles per hour and gusting even higher than that at times. The rain moves in about lunchtime on Sunday, so we have a chance for some showers throughout the day, and it's certainly going to be a cooler day as well. And that rain chance continues on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I hate to see the rain on the weekend, but frankly, we need it. We're in a moderate drought across the area, so uh, it's uh, welcome news that we get some rain. You see we stay with the cooler temperatures dry and mild by Thursday next week.